Hey guys, it's Tyler from Bullseye Investing here. We have a real interesting video today. Meet Kevin released his thoughts about the future of Hylion, and let me tell you, they're not too bullish, okay? I feel pretty bad because he got a lot of hate for this video, but at the same time, I'm a shareholder of Hylion, and I don't necessarily believe with certain things that he ended up saying, but he probably ended up deleting this video for the hate. So this video is now removed, but I managed to take notes. I took about seven pages of handwritten notes, pretty much writing a bunch of quotes he said from the video that I wanted to share with you guys today, and I'm gonna share it in condensed form. I'll probably post the reaction video to his video soon after this one, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna tell you guys what he said in chronological order, removing my own opinions. I just wanna tell you what he said because it's now removed, so this is pretty much the only place to hear what he actually said to my knowledge first he says that hylion doesn't actually manufacture their own trucks he compares their tr system to somebody giving them a camry and then amping that camry up with a hybrid interior so they're not actually selling the camry they're giving back the camry with an amped up interior a hybrid interior he says that all hylion does is put the truck in the shop slap in a battery pack and an electric motor and call it a day me, Kevin also says that the market for Hylion are gas guzzler truck owners because people who are already energy efficient and own energy efficient trucks don't actually need Hylion services because they already have a more efficient truck to begin with. He also says that gas guzzlers are compressed natural gas and diesel trucks. But if those trucks aren't being used anymore and this market disappears because everyone goes to EV trucks, then that's really, really bad for Hylion. He also says that Hylion focus he focuses heavily on using their systems with compressed natural gas. So he also explains the progression of going green, and I do like how he explained this. So he starts said that trucks were from using coal and diesel back in the day. Those are the dirtiest forms of energy. Then it went to natural gas, and we're trying to progress into 100% clean. He says that natural gas is merely a bridge, but he also says that natural gas, are if they're being used, natural gas and diesel, then that's good for Hylion. But he says diesel's falling out of favor because it's a polluter and renewable energy natural gas also still emits CO2, so it's less desirable than a 100% system, 100% clean system. He also quotes a New York Times article that says that lawmakers are actually steering away from spending money on natural gas because it's doomed and ultimately just a bridge because we're going to switch to 100% clean ultimately, so why spend money in something plan to be obsolete in the form of natural gas. He sums it up by saying that Hylion seems to be here to make a dying trucking business more energy efficient on their way to death. Strong words, right? He also says that he's going to look at the numbers. He says that Hylion says that there's a massive market for shipping and transportation highlighted by COVID that has accelerated this trend. He claims that their product increases fuel efficiency by 10 to 30%. But he says that Hylion still has to convince the owners of the trucks who have tight shipping margins to dish out the money on hybrid tech in order to maybe get 10 to 30% back, but that they Hylion doesn't actually have 100% confidence that that is their fuel efficiency claims, right? They don't have 100% confidence. He then goes on to say for a long time, while well, there's no data, it's hard to find to support the fuel efficiency claims, and that he cannot analyze the data because there's not enough of it, and thus he gets nervous about buying Hylion. He also talks about their partners. They have a lot of partners that he talks about. So he says that they partner with Dana Manufacturing to pr actually produce the powertrains. So he says that they bought their powertrains and their powertrains are actually made by a different country company now. And also that the modifications are done by another partner called Fontaine Modifications. And their design is done by a company called IAV Automotive Engineering. So he says they're outsourcing a lot. He also mentions revenues. He says that Hylion expects $1 million in revenues in 2020, $9 million in 2021, $300 million in 2022, and $2 billion in 2024. He calls this incredulous, and that when other YouTubers extol these numbers by quoting the quote-unquote discounted cash flows, they actually can't predict the growth of revenue because this company is new, there's no pass to it. He also says that there's problems with the reported pre-orders from Helion. He says that one a major one is Agility Logistics, which ordered pre-ordered a thousand units. Oh, but wait. He says they invested in Helion at only ten dollars a share and bought three hundred twenty-five million dollars of it. So he says that they just bought Helion pre-orders to pump their investment higher. So that's their motivation for actually buying the pre-orders. He also mentions two hundred fifty units from American Natural Gas 
but he cites how these pre-orders are flawed because they're not actually buying the 250 units for themselves, but planning to use them for their fleet clients. So these aren't true pre-orders because there's no evidence that somebody actually wants the powertrains. He also talks about how the so-called negative carbon emissions are tricky because natural gas is technically not emission free, but the technology actually does still take methane out of the air, which is how it's considered quote unquote net negative. He even goes as far to say that Nikola had more potential with hydrogen. Now, I mean, knowing what we know about Nikola now, it seems like a huge insult to any company, uh, but that's his opinion. And he ends the video by saying that he could be wrong. And if that's the case, then he guesses that it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching. That's the end of the video. I'm trying to grow this channel. So if you could subscribe, like, and comment, that would be great, please. Thanks for watching.